we have to pop off this uh, cover that's on top of the engine that just pops up. There's two points where it pops or pops onto. So you just kind of get them and then you work it out straight from the back. Just like that. Let's see here, this is where it pops on here and here. And then these two tabs slide into the back. I'm gonna set this aside so it doesn't get broken. With the engine cover removed, your EVAP purge solenoid sits right here on this tab. It's got two vacuum hoses and one electrical connector. You shouldn't need any special tools to undo this hose. It's got a white spring tab. I'm gonna push down on it. And slide it off. This electrical connector can flip the lock up with the fingertips. Pull it off. I'm gonna move to the one in the front. It's hard to see from this angle, and I will show you afterwards. It has a tab that we need to push towards the passenger side. Get your finger under there, your index finger, push it towards the passenger side, and unlock it, and then pull it off the hose. So that's loose. If it doesn't come all the way off because it's hitting the back of the alternator, that's fine. We're going to lift the EGR valve off of this tab. And this one's kind of loose. If it's not that loose, you can take a flat bladed screwdriver and just push the lock in a bit and slide it off the tab. It's going to come up. This hose is attached to it still. It's loose though. And now I'm just going to pull it off of that hose. Put this aside for now. I want to show you that lock that I'm talking about. So on this vacuum hose, see if we can just slide it out here. You don't have to do any of this. I'm just going to show you how the connector works. So I'm going to unplug our alternator just so I can slide the hose out here because this is a little tricky to figure out. So on the back side, this is underneath the valve. You need to push this open and that's what unlocks that. So if you're struggling with it, you're trying to get it off, this is the little tab you're trying to push to unlock it. And I'm going to put this back where it belongs, which is just down in here. And then we'll plug back in our alternator. This is our old EVAP purge solenoid. This is our new one from 1AAuto.com. It's the same style gray plugs. On one end is the same tab. Identical electrical connectors and the same little vacuum nipples on the back. So this will fit perfectly and get rid of any check engine light code you might have for an EVAP purge solenoid. To reinstall this, I'm gonna lift up this wiring harness and I'm gonna install this connector on this end first. Let's see if I can do it where you can see it. Maybe we'll go like this. Just gonna push in like that. You might have to unlock that tab. That's locked in. You can slide it down underneath. Place it over the metal tab that it sits on. Just like that. Now we're going to reconnect our electrical connector. I'm just going to adjust this weather seal so it's square. Walk in, take our other vacuum line. We have to open it, pushing the white clip down. Slide it over. Make sure the white clip locks in like that. We replaced our EGR purge solenoid.
Okay, so now we're gonna put this uh, engine cover back on. So you've got these two little pins here, and there's two little sort of uh, clips in the back that this needs to slide in, up and into, and then over these to lock it down. So it's easier to slide it to the back and get these hooked, and then push it down onto these. It's got a little bit of a, a, a curve here. There's some heater hose lines on the other side that they need to go over it like this. So you basically just start it, and just kind of slide it down. And you can almost see it, and it hits those hooks and then you push it over those pins and down and it's on. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.